Today we're going to look at a very common problem with LCD TVs. You can see in this test pattern on the left hand side we have a band of pink color which is uh, not correct. It should look like this on the right hand side. There, there's one thing you can do real quickly to troubleshoot this. I have a can of what's called component cooler. It's, um, this happens to be from Radio Shack. You can get it from any of your electronic stores. What this will do is significantly lower the temperature uh, on anything that you spray it on. What we're going to do is underneath the front plastic cover on every LCD TV, there are ribbon cables that go along the bottom, ribbon cables that go along the sides and the tops. They call those tabs. What we're going to do is spray this right in the corners, and if that makes the issue go away, then you'll know that there's probably a problem with the tab because there are microscopic breaks in the ribbon cable or the tab. And when you freeze it, it causes it to constrict and close those up. So hopefully this will, number one, help us identify if it is a problem with tabs, and if it is, which tabs we need to address. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to spray this entire side of the television here and see if that makes that go away. Alright, so as you can see, we've sprayed this, but the color is still there. So chances are the issue with this LCD is not the tabs on the side. So there's one other component on the TV that we'll have to address, which is called the T-Con. And that's actually located inside the television, somewhere in the middle here. It's a circuit board that has ribbon cables connected to it. Quite often you can just disconnect those ribbon cables and reconnect them, and it can possibly resolve this problem, or the T-Con may need to be replaced altogether. So in the next segment, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the LCD, and we're going to go ahead and uh, reseat the cables on the T-Con, and then hook it all back up and see if that resolves this problem. Okay, so now that we've determined that it's not the tabs on the television because we use the component cooler to spray, and we noticed that the, the pink line didn't disappear, uh, the next step would be to go ahead and take a look at the, the T-Con or the timing controller board and um, reseat the ribbon cables that are on it and see if that fixes the problem. Now, to save time, I've already done that with this television. I've already taken the ribbon cables off of the T-Con controller, reseated them, and the problem did not go away, but you'll want to try that with yours. Sometimes it's as simple as removing the cables and putting them back on. Now, on this particular model, which is a Sony KDL 40V 4100, I've already removed all the screws from the back in here. There are a total of 28 screws, four different kinds. Um, your TV will uh, vary, of course. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the back case here, and we're going to start taking a look at the T-Con board. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this out. Okay, so inside this television, and, and most LCDs are the same, um, you're going to have this this board over here where all of your component uh, inputs are, your HDMI, your component inputs, it's going to have a cable that comes up over here and where that cable ends is on the T-Con controller. These T-Con controllers are always cased inside of a, a metal casing. There's usually a piece of foil tape near it, so that's the best way to identify it. So what we need to do is go ahead and open this up. In this case there are uh, four screws and there's a little piece of tape here it was connected to this top component part on this television. Remove that. I'm going to disconnect this lower cable. Now th these are the cables I already pulled off and put back on. I reseated them to see if that resolved the problem. And it didn't in my case, unfortunately. So I did have to order a new T-Con board. Um, so the next step here is I'm going to take off these four screws. And depending on your television, it's going to be slightly different, but like I said, they all have this metal casing on the, the T-Con. It's a very common thing. It's for shielding purposes. Again, using a magnetic screwdriver is probably the best so that you can just pick these screws up nice and easily. Let's take these out. Now 
Now the nice thing about the TCOM board on this particular model is it was only a $25 replacement part, which if this fixes it, is a very cost-effective fix for this television. Okay, so, so I've taken this four screws out. What you do is you gently lift this up, and it turns over. The TCOM board is right inside. And you see I open it up like this. And if you look in here, there are two ribbon cables, one here, one here. They have these little tabs on them. And the biggest trick to this is actually knowing how to take these off. These black parts in here can initially look like they're part of the cable. They're actually not. That's, those are little tabs. So what you want to use is a very small flathead screwdriver. And you simply get in here, underneath of it, and you flip it up. Flip up this guy, and there we go. So now that's come out. So this right here is your TCOM board. Bottom cable here comes from your component section on your TV from this cable. These top ones go to your LCD panel. So we've got the old one out. I'm going to set it on the side over here. And this is our replacement TCOM board. Like I said, it costs $25 for this particular model of television. So what we're going to do is simply go back here, lift up these little black tabs. This is a little tricky getting these cables back in, depending on your, your board. So I'll just try to get those slid right in there. This, this particular metal casing doesn't give me a, little, a lot of wiggle room, but I'll uh, put it on. Just put these little flaps back down. Yeah. I don't seem to be wanting to go all the way down. I need to probably play with this a little bit more. Eventually, they should snap back in place when the cable's in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue this. It's, it's a little bit of a struggle to get these back on, but you can see the point here. I'm going to connect these two top ribbon cables. I'm going to reattach this bottom cable here, close the set back up, and then we're going to take a look and see if that resolves the problem. So let me finish that up and we'll, we'll be back with the next segment. Okay, so we've replaced the um, timing control or TCON board in our LCD um, TV. Um, what I've done is put the casing back on the television, but I did not put all the screws in. I just put mostly the ones on the outside of the TV on. The reason for that is that if this doesn't resolve the problem, I'm going to want to be able to remove the TCOM board, the new one that I put in, and uh, put the old TCOM board back in. The company that I ordered these, uh, this component from is Retech. Their website is retechtv.com. The good thing about ordering from them is that they will take components back from you uh, and give you a full refund or a store credit without any sort of restocking fee if you misdiagnose the problem with your LCD. So um, I would strongly recommend using retechtv.com for your components. Uh, the other thing that I've done is I went ahead and I put the TV onto its stand rather than wall mounting it again because I'm not totally sure if we're done troubleshooting this issue or not. And if I'm not, I really don't want to remount it uh, on the wall. I just have to take it down to, uh, to do future repairs. So let's go ahead and see what the results of replacing the TCOM board are. I'll turn it on and generate our, um, our test pattern. And it looks like the, the problem is still not resolved. You can see this band of pink coloring on the left-hand side of the television here. So just to recap what we've done so far in troubleshooting this uh, LCD problem, we use the component cooler, uh, the spray can, to spray along the left-hand side of the television to try to determine if the problem is with the um, tabs or the small ribbon cables having microscopic fractures. The, uh, the extremely cold uh, component cooler would uh, make the cables constrict and close up those little microscopic um, breaks. Uh, that didn't work for us, so the next thing we did was uh, take a look at the TCON or the Tiny Control Board. We've replaced that, and you can see the problem is still not resolved. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is ordering the um, what they call the main BU board, um, also known as the video controller board for this television. And once I get that, I will replace, uh, replace it. Okay, the third and final uh, try at resolving this uh, LCD television problem 
is to replace what's called the main BU board. Basically on the back or possibly on the side of your LCD uh, TV, depending on how your, yours is set up, there's the inputs for your component and your, um, your RCA jacks and your HDMI connections. This, uh, this is what's called the, uh, the main BU board. Um, I went ahead and I ordered a replacement for mine. You can see that on the back here, it all pretty much lines up. You have the same connectors for um, all the different inputs on your television. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, once again open up the back panel here, set that aside. So now that we have it open, you can see the uh, main BU board much clearer. When I went to order this from RetechTV.com, which is where I recommend you order this from, um, in my case, um, I looked on the, the main BU board to get as many of the part numbers as I could because when you go to uh, RetechTV.com, they have several uh, alternate board numbers and you want to you try to get as much information you can about your board so that you know which one you need to order. You can always email them also and they're, they're really friendly and they'll get right back to you and let you know which board is compatible with your uh, television. In the case of this Sony LCD, there are two different revisions of this board and I had to get the correct one. Uh, here, there's a ribbon cable and right next to it, it's going to be really tough to see, but right next to it on mine, there was a, a part number for the board. I wrote that one down. Also over here underneath this cable, on this white label, there was another part number. And between these two and the overall model of my television, and in addition to that, the serial number of my TV, which usually the serial number can be found on the back casing of the television. And you'll usually find your serial number somewhere up on the label on the, on the uh, television. Serial number's down in here. Um, and my model number's up here. So the information you want to collect when you're ordering the main BU board is to get the serial number off your television, any uh, numbers you can get off the board, go to retechtv.com and uh, order your replacement board. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to remove uh, this cable and any of the other connectors that you see uh, that go up to the main BU and uh, you know just try to be careful and uh, kind of keep record of where, where each one of these goes. When you're taking these off, be careful. There's usually a small little clip that you have to push with your finger and then you uh, pull the connectors off. Try not to pull them by the wire, pull it by the plastic piece so that you don't strip any of these wires out. I'm going to go ahead and replace this and, uh, and then what we're going to do is see if that replacement actually resolved the problem with this LCD. Okay, so we've replaced the main BU board and we're going to turn our LCD uh, TV back on and generate a test pattern and see if the problem's been resolved. And uh, interestingly enough, it looks as though the uh, pink uh, stripe that we had here is now gone, but there's still an issue. As you can see, the uh, green and red offsets on these white lines, uh, these lines here should look just like this. So we still have an issue, and that could possibly be because the, uh, the rev of the main BU board that I've put into this TV is different than the one that was originally in the TV. So there's still a problem, it's just exhibiting itself in a different manner. Uh, so now, pretty much we've gone through the three main things that any general user can do with their television, which is uh, we check for the microscopic cracks in the tabs by using the component cooler. Um, that wasn't the issue. Then we went and replaced, uh, actually reseated the uh, cables on the TCOM board, the timing controller board. That wasn't it. We replaced the timing controller board. Uh, the issue was still there. And then last but not least, we replaced the main BU and we still have an issue, although it's slightly different. So. At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to return both the main BU and the TCOM board to RetechTV.com. Again, I strongly suggest that you go through them because I am able to uh, get an RMA number and get a full refund on these components, uh, minus shipping and handling. Uh, but uh, this won't end up costing me uh, hardly anything at all to, uh, to do the troubleshooting that we've done on the television. So the next step I could do is either go to a TV technician, uh, which uh, could get a little expensive, um, I could uh, also go ahead and just uh, purchase a new LCD television or probably what I'm going to do is live with this, uh, this slight problem that I have here. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it and I uh, appreciate you watching.